Happy New Year, guys. Tonight, we'll be talking to you about common nerve conditions of the upper extremity. You know that supracondylar fracture of the humerus in children get involved with nerve injuries. The most common type is the extension type. And that extension type will get you the anterior osseous nerve. It's really the median nerve. It's a high median nerve. But it presents itself as an anterior osseous nerve. The flexion type rare, and that will affect the ulnar nerve. When a patient is affected by the anterior osseous nerve, that person cannot do the okay sign with his hand or her hand. There's another problem for the median nerve, and that is a small little bony process called the medial process of the humerus, which you can see it here. That process is attached to a thrusor's ligament, a thrusor's ligaments, and it can affect the median nerve. A thrusor's ligament affects the median nerve. The median nerve will be here. Arcade of thrusor's is a different name but it affects the ulnar nerve. There is another problem also related to compression of the nerve at the elbow, and that is the radial tunnel syndrome or the posterior osseous nerve entrapment. So the proximal fibrous border of the superficial belly of the supinator muscle will affect the posterior interosseous nerve, and that's called the arcade approach. The arcade approach. A wrist drop will be uh, happening in a patient with a radial nerve palsy, usually from a humerus fracture or from trauma or surgery. The hitchhike sign means the person cannot do hitchhike with his thumb. So either the patient have a radial nerve palsy or has a posterior, uh, posterior osseous nerve palsy. The patient may be okay as regard the radial nerve, but the posterior osseous nerve may be affected. So if the posterior interosseous nerve is affected, and this is the only one that's affected, then the patient cannot do the hitchhike or extension of the fingers, but the person will be able to extend the rest. Different than radial nerve palsy, where the patient will not be able to extend the rest, will have a rest drop, and also will not be able to do the hitchhike or extension of the fingers. Why? Because the radial nerve comes like this, and then as it moves down, it is split into the posterior osseous and the superficial radial. So if you have the radial nerve at that level, it will wipe out the wrist extension and extension of the fingers. If the posterior osseous nerve is affected here, the person will have wrist extension, but not finger extension. Clawing of the hand, under claw hand, or clawing of the fourth and fifth fingers happen from an under nerve injury, under nerve palsy, especially if it is a low under nerve injury below the elbow. Why that happened? Because of weakness of the intrinsic hand muscles and because 
the profundus to these two fingers is probably working and pulling the fingers in flexion. How about the quadrangular space? If you have a quadrangular space syndrome, you will affect the axillary nerve because the axillary nerve and the posterior humeral circumflex comes in this quadrangular space. Well, I hope this lecture helped you. Thank you very much. Have a happy new year. Happy holidays. And I see you for another video. Thank you very much.